Hello everyone. Thank you to all the people who have subscribed to the channel. There is no way that I would still be here without your help. Much appreciation. If you are watching this and you have not yet subscribed, please I ask you to do so. Thanks a million. Today we are revisiting the Foreign Secretary David Lammy. David Lammy's speech at the United Nations was indeed strong and direct. He criticized Putin's invasion of Ukraine, describing it as an attempt to expand a mafia state into a mafia empire. Putin must have been laughing all the entire duration of Lamy's speech. He also addressed issues of colonialism and slavery, emphasizing the need for reparations and acknowledging the historical injustices faced by many communities. Whether his language was appropriate is subjective and depends on one's perspective. Some might argue that his forthrightness was necessary to address these critical issues, while others might feel that a more diplomatic approach would have done better. Diplomacy can often help in maintaining constructive dialogue and avoiding escalation. It's a delicate balance between being firm and being diplomatic. Lamy's approach was certainly bold. Sometimes a softer touch can achieve more in the long run. Different situations call for different strategies, right? It is rather unbecoming to hear a diplomat sounding like a thug inside the United Nations and in front of world diplomats and head of states around the world. What do you think about his approach? Let's take a listen to this guy one more time, please. Uh, Mr. President, I also want to speak directly to the Kremlin and its representative here today. And Vladimir Putin, Russia sits on this council, but its actions tear up the UN Charter. Russia sits on this council, but over the weekend, we saw it put forward amendments designed to wreck the UN's future. Russia claims to stand for the global south, but it runs Russia over international law. Vladimir Putin, when you fire missiles into Ukraine hospitals, we know who you are. When you send mercenaries into African countries, we know who you are. When you murder opponents in European cities, we know who you are. Your invasion is in your own interest, yours alone, to expand your mafia state into a mafia empire, an empire built on corruption, robbing from the Russian people as well as Ukraine, an empire built on crushing dissent, courageous opponents like Navalny, an empire built on lies, spreading disinformation at home and abroad to sow disorder. Mr. President, I speak not only as a Briton, as a Londoner, and as a foreign secretary, but I say to the Russian representative on his phone as I speak that I stand here also as a black man whose ancestors were taken in chains from Africa at the barrel of a gun to be enslaved, whose ancestors rose up and fought in a great rebellion of the enslaved. Imperialism, I know it when I see it, and I will call it out for what it is. In this week, when I'm here talking to other partners around the world about our shared futures and the future of the UN, Russia is trying to return us to a world of the past, a world of imperialism, a world of redrawing borders by force, a world without the UN Charter. We cannot allow this to happen. Ukraine's fight matters to all of us. The UK will remain Ukraine's staunchest supporter. Because, Mr. President, these are the stakes. If we let an imperialist redraw borders by force, those will not be the last borders to be redrawn. If we let an imperialist deny a nation its path, Ukraine will not be the last state to be subjected. Maduro will take encouragement and go for Guyana next. So let me be clear, we want peace in Ukraine. We want it for the Ukrainian people. As President Zelensky has said, it must be a peace that respects the fundamental principles that underpin the United Nations. The principles of sovereignty and territorial integrity as enshrined in this UN Charter, the Charter of the United Nations. Putin's Russia wants to unravel it. 
We want to uphold it, and we will. As President Zelensky said, the UN Charter will prevail. So Just to educate David Lammy. As a lawyer, David Lammy should be well-read and well-informed. When Lammy spoke about colonialism, mistreatment and slavery, Barbara Woodward, sitting immediately behind him, must have cringed in shock. But then again, let the bigot embarrass himself. It is hard to believe the caliber of people currently in charge of our beloved country. Just to educate David Lammy, Britain has deployed its armed forces over 80 times in 47 countries since the end of the World War II. From brutal colonial wars and covert operations to propping up favored governments and deterring civil unrest. You might like to ask Lammy, who made Britain the international policeman? I think it is quite fitting to ask David Lammy whether invasion of Iraq, Afghanistan, Syria, and not to mention the destruction of Libya was legal. Who had the slave trade? Was it Russia or the United Kingdom? Lammy showed how projection works. Lammy was talking about the United Kingdom. Another point I found strange and quite truly unbecoming of the foreign secretary is the use of his racial profile and identity politics in serious address of the United Nations. Those diplomats must have had a field day about Lammy's speech. Why he had to include his race is beyond logic. This is the pot calling the kettle black. Who enslaved all of Africa? Was it the British or the Russians? Who colonized countries all over the world? Russia or Britain? Name an African country colonized by Russia. None. Now name countries colonized in Africa by United Kingdom and its European partners. All of Africa. Well except Ethiopia. Ethiopians rebuffed the Italians. Most amazing is the criticism directed at Russia and none whatsoever on Israel. Not only was his speech embarrassing, but it was also amateurish and lacked any form of diplomacy and eloquence. Sadly, this is generally expected from most politicians these days. Morals, standards, duty, respect, behavior and service are simply beyond them. Lammy said, I stand before you while sitting down. Quite hilarious to say the least. I was rather surprised. He got his skin color right. So we can reasonably say he is 50% cognizant. No matter how well educated Lammy is, he comes across as thicker than custard. He is embarrassing to listen to and makes Diane Abbott look accomplished every time. It is difficult to fathom how he made it to the foreign office. The very fact that Keir Starmer appointed Lammy is enough to show his unbelievable incompetence in action. This is my take on this chap. Please feel free to comment or even disagree with me. Comments always generate a conversation. Let us get the community talking. Thank you so much for your time. And may God protect England. Thank you.